Hello and welcome to American Truck Simulator everybody and today we've got this uh, heavy load here to take from Stockton across to Carson City and shortest type of trip uh, in the good old trusty Kenworth K100E right here but uh, before we get into it let me go and show you what mods I've got installed on ATS at the moment. Right here goes the mods that I've got active at the moment everybody we've got Realistic Roads uh, V.3.2 uh, so I've actually just uh, put this in here so it'll be interesting to see how this one goes today. Uh, I've got Real Advertisements uh, that's a new one that I've put in new for me at least uh, updated my ATS real logos project the Hollywood sign that's been in there for quite a while hopefully that still works uh, real American gas stations just so make sure that they have got all the right uh, logos for the real world equivalents uh, the realistic graphics mod by uh, Franken 64 I think it is uh, so or Franklin maybe 64 uh, so that's a, a good one too and um, that's the latest version right there. I've thrown in the Google Maps voice navigation but I don't think I've got that turned on actually. I've got to see. Uh, the good old Ken with K100E so that's the truck I'll be driving today. I uh, love that mod, one of my favourites. And the uh, Sizzle's uh, trailer pack for USA trailer pack. And then the player icon. Um, I've actually got my own little uh, icon in there now so that doesn't probably matter so much. So there we go. There goes the mods that I have installed. Okay, and we'll uh, jump into the trip very, very soon. But just a reminder, please smash your like button down below if you enjoy these types of videos. And if you're new, how about consider subscribing? It costs nothing at all except just a little bit of self-respect. And who's not willing to give up some of that? Anyway, we've got our, our local traffic uh, waiting for us right here. What I'll do, everybody, is once we get underway, I'll talk you through the different controllers that I've got and what I'm using. Don't be surprised if I stall this from time to time. Very sensitive clutch. I keep talking about my sensitive controllers. Uh, but the clutch definitely uh, presents a bit of an issue in this. It sort of uh, means I stall on a fairly regular basis. So just a heads up on that. So we'll get out onto the freeway up here. But uh, I love driving this truck. I've only driven it, as you can see up the top there, about uh, 3, 000, uh, 3, sorry, 4,380 miles. So it's not huge. At the moment, uh, the company that I have at the moment is uh, level 17, not huge, uh, not massive, so I haven't played this nowhere near as much as I'd like to, but I do enjoy getting in the truck when I can, and uh, delivering some goods. So let's just get around this corner here, we're going to have to get up on here to be wide enough I'd imagine, and we do, let's drop it down a gear, going to give it some uh, pedal up the hill right here. Got those new road textures right there. It's uh, a pretty new mod that I've installed, so I'll be interested to see how they look. Let's get right out here. Oh, we're actually going to have to get off the uh, get off the freeway right here. Okay, so what am I using? Okay, let's talk about the controllers. I'm using a TSPC uh, wheel, and it's actually got the old T300 RS. Um, uh, the actual wheel on it. I'm using the TSPC uh, base with a, an old school wheel. I do actually have the F1 wheel but I just don't think it feels right uh, driving these trucks uh, with the F1 wheel. Although it does have a lot of buttons that make driving a lot easier. Yeah, I'll just go across here while I can. I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time. So that's why I use the round wheel. It's just a bit more realistic for me. Uh, I'll eventually get a decent size wheel. Uh, in terms of pedals, I've got um, a relatively old uh, set of pedals, although they are pretty sweet. They're the uh, Club Sport, the Fanatic, or Fanatec as most people call it. Uh, Fanatic uh, Club Sport V2s. So they're probably seven or eight years old now, I would say. But they're a good, uh, they're a good pedal set. It's got the load cell brake and all that sort of stuff going on. And so uh, they're pretty good for sim racing, although if you've got a lack of talent like me, they don't really do you that much good. But for anyone who's half decent, they'll certainly help them out. Oh, green light, everybody. Nice and easy off the clutch there. We didn't stall. That's a good effort. Have a look out back there. All right, what else have I got? I've got the TH, uh, the Thrustmaster TH-8A um, uh, gear gear stick but it's actually got a custom made uh, 3d printed uh, range splitter on it 
which uh, is really cool. One of my mates made it over in UK. Big shout out to the boys over there, Rapid and Rider. If you're watching, how you doing? Um, and so it's been working pretty well. It's kind of cool to have that range splitter option on there, so I can get through the gears nice and easily. So that's what I've got in terms of controllers. Uh, what I'm using is uh, you might have noticed I'm looking around a bit like this. Uh, that's the the good old track IR, uh, which works uh, really well for this uh, for this particular for this particular game. Particularly when you look out the window like that, it's pretty cool. Don't do that while you're travelling fast. So, so that works pretty well. I did um, give the smooth track uh, that free, not free, that low cost uh, head tracking app for the uh, iOS and Android that I previewed on my channel a few weeks ago. And it was completely fine, by the way. If you don't have track IR, um, it's a really, really good option, I reckon. Uh, the only thing that I would say, the only drawback with it is that it only does uh, basically 90 degrees in each direction. So I can't look way behind me out the window, which I like to do when I back. However, you do have mirrors for a reason, I suppose, so uh, you could use your mirrors instead. But you know, if you want to look forward and then right around like that, you can't quite do it. Uh, let's stay on the road, mate. So uh, and that's its only limitation. Apart from that, it worked really well. Uh, it was completely adequate. So if you don't have track IR or any other head tracking, um, you know that uh, smooth track is actually quite a good option. I thought I uh, put cruise control on. Clearly, I didn't. Let's stay on the road, mate. Is it working now? It is indeed. So, uh, yeah, so that's my setup. Uh, and so I've been playing, like, probably from when Euro Truck Simulator 2 came out was probably when I started uh, doing sim trucking. But I don't do it nowhere near enough because most of my time, from a simulator point of view, is taken up uh, with flight simming. But I really love uh, driving these trucks. It's sort of a uh, nice, relaxing thing. And usually what I would do is... Uh, Oh, Mace, put on the brakes, mate. No, oh, I hate stopping on hills with these big loads. Come on, Mace, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. It does, you beauty. Uh, I like actually usually throwing on some music. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I told you we're going to stall everybody. Okay, we finally got ourselves away there, boys. I'm going to keep going through this stop sign. But yeah, like I said, I don't get to play it nowhere near as much as I'd like to. Uh, but it's all, always a lot of fun. Throw the music on cruise around in your truck it's uh, obviously a lot of fun it's also a really good game to stream actually I find one question I would have for everybody is what mods do you use what do you recommend let me know you've seen my mod list there what should I be adding around the countryside here everybody So yeah, I'd be interested in to, to know what sort of mods you, you guys are using. Right, what else is going on? Well, obviously you've been seeing that I've been putting out quite a number of flight simulator videos, Microsoft flight simulator videos primarily, uh, after, it, after it came out, uh, what, nearly a month ago now. And I have to say, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, what the way I would describe it at the moment is that it's very much a VFR type focus game. Uh, just with those basic uh, airliner models, uh, a little bit of work to do there, which the um, third-party developers are getting on board and doing. Um, but I would have to say that the uh, the graphics are absolutely spectacular, and um, I'm really enjoying playing the game. And, and because I've always enjoyed uh, general aviation flying, I mean, to be able to see what you see out your window is just absolutely sensational. So it's definitely filling a hole for me for sure. And overall, I'm actually uh, pretty pleased with how it's all come out. Uh, with my system upgrade too, it's uh, meant that I've been able to just turn up the settings just somewhat, which have uh, really helped. And so I get that, um, you know, just that little bit of extra level of detail. Now these, by the way, are the first time I've driven on these uh, with this road mod. It looks okay, I would say. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, keep going and see what I think about it. I'm not entirely sold on it at the moment. Definitely looks a bit more worn and stuff, which looks cool. Not entirely sold, but we'll keep going. Look good. And so, yeah, so Microsoft Flight Simulator has been really, really fantastic. And obviously, um, with a big focus on both FS economy and on air. So, uh, still got some on air videos to come out. So, we'll keep working on those. Um, and obviously, a lot of people have got into both FS economy and on air. And, <laughs> and both have uh, suffered <laughs> major server issues. 
as a result of a massive rush of people, which is uh, kind of a good problem to have in a way. Uh, but it's been really spectacular, particularly in Effie's economy, to see the explosion of, uh, of new memberships. I mean, uh, they, they put out the FSE Reporter, which is their monthly magazine, and it was like, I think it was something like 2,000 people would join or something. <laughs> that is unbelievable. It's huge. As you can see here, we've only got 144 nautical miles to go on this trip. It's not a huge trip. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Try to keep my eyes on the road as much as possible while looking out. Well, yeah, not a good... Oh, we've got a yacht out there. I wonder how they got in there. This must uh, have an exit out to the ocean somewhere. And unless there's a big lake that they can uh, go around. Well, I think you guys call them sailboats if you're watching from the States. And I think you call a yacht uh, something that has an engine, I'm pretty sure. We're over here in uh, New Zealand. A yacht is something that has sails, what you would call a sailboat. Okay, we've got to punch it down here, team. Let's punch out the fire fifth. I have got high revs right here, but I'll keep them up just going up this hill. Got some slow pokes ahead of us. Then again, the speed limit has chopped down to 30. So it must be for this winding road right here. Reminds me a little bit of the uh, our Canada trip that we had a couple of years ago, where we were. Uh, which, uh, by the way, uh, if you obviously if you come from a country like New Zealand or Britain or somewhere like that, uh, you drive on the left-hand side of the road. But of course, going to a Canada for a holiday, we uh, went on an RV holiday for two weeks and drove all around British Columbia. Now. If any of you that have uh, spent all your life driving on one side of the road and then have to drive on the other, it can be quite a challenge. But no, it wasn't a problem because uh, I even said to my wife, I said, well, see, all that uh, gaming in American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator has paid off because I was used to it to a certain degree. <laughs> well, that's my... That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, no, it was really cool actually driving on that side of the road. But the point I was going to make is this sort of reminds me of the uh, winding valleys just north of Vancouver. As you go up, uh, particularly after uh, Whistler, where you go up through these really winding roads. Some of them sort of turn back on themselves. Mind, remind me a little bit of the Tour de France or something like that. But yeah, driving on the right-hand side of the road, not a problem. Man, I can really feel this truck really struggling with this uh, with this load I did actually upgrade the engine it's now 500 horsepower I think from memory maybe a little bit more I can't remember it was a lot lower so um, it still probably needs to go up an engine size or two just to have the grunt I'm at about 80 percent on the heavy haulage uh, graphs you know how you get them when you pick up a heavy haulage it shows you the graphs um, I'm about 80 percent which means that it's it's doable but it's just struggling just a little bit so there we go. Anyway, uh, what else is going on? Well, the other thing is, is I've managed to get my streaming set up working, uh, which is great. And that's really as a result of my improved system, uh, because I wanted to be able to stream some Microsoft Flight Simulator. And while I could play Microsoft Flight Simulator without too many issues on my old system, uh, at about high settings, just below high settings, uh, there was absolutely no way that I was going to be able to, um, to stream. So... Um, getting this upgrade assistance allowed me to go ahead and uh, do that and so I did a few test streams in the weekend a couple of times I said uh, in the title testing please ignore and ended up with 50 or 60 people on the stream uh, a lot of them making comments around the fact that this is how they ignore people by jumping on there and they also mentioned the fact that if I put uh, what's I say commercial trucking is prohibited in this area you have to turn around and go back what what are you talking about this is where my GPS is telling me to go. Illegal trailer usage offence. 1500? What? Okay, I didn't know about this everybody. I've got to say, I've been caught out. I have been caught out. Hopefully I only get fined once. Didn't really give me much chance to turn around, did it? Oh well. It is what it is, as they say. Let's see if we can go up a gear here. So yeah, uh, the streaming was a heck of a lot of fun, so thank you to everybody who did uh, join me on the stream. I'll definitely be doing a lot more. I'll try to get a, um, try to organise at least more, at least one regular stream a week where I'll just put in a time and I'll stream there, you know, most weeks if I can, plus a lot of other impromptu streams when I 
you know, when I've got the availability. Uh, just working around full-time job and stuff like that and, and family commitments can make it um, difficult to really um, commit to a... Um, man, look at this. I can see why they're probably banned commercial trucking around here. Uh, so uh, what it's likely to be for a start is probably... Um, it's probably going to be starting at something like uh, 18.30 GMT on a Friday. So that's like 6.30 a.m. on a Saturday morning here in New Zealand. So that would be like um, around about 10.30 a.m. on Friday on the west coast of uh, the United States and obviously another four hours after that on the east coast. Uh, that's probably where I'll look to lock in a regular stream. Uh, because what I can do is get up early on a Saturday morning and you know, knock out a two or three hour stream where we can do some um, on-air flights, do some multiplayer flights, uh, stuff like that, do a bit of trucking. This is really nice here by the way, even though it got stung $1,500 for the pleasure of going through here. I really got, I really got, um, got caught out big time, didn't I everybody? Anyway, too late now. Hopefully I don't get fined again. So yeah. Uh, did a lot of work in the weekend, did a number of, uh, oh, here comes a copper. Don't get me, boy. Don't turn around. Okay, didn't. Maybe I got away with it. Uh, did a number of uh, streams in the weekend and tested out the rig and uh, just refined the settings. Took quite a bit of fiddling, actually, to get it to a sort of a quality level that I was looking for. Uh, and in the end, it was really good, actually. Um, so hopefully that will work well. I uh, just need to update my alerts and stuff like that. Uh, for sub subscriptions and all that sort of stuff so we'll look to get that sorted so yeah so keep your eyes out I'll definitely um, post uh, I'll post up like a scheduled screen, a stream if I do do one so in advance and that way uh, people know when it's going to be and you can jump in and say hello and like I say maybe do some um, do I need to oh no we're getting our revs up so uh, yeah and then people can jump in and uh, join in particularly if we've got some multiplayer flights going on Man, look at this long line of traffic behind me. Sorry about that, team. That's what happens sometimes, everybody. But, uh, no, it's really nice. Really nice here. Look at that beautiful lake right there. Sweet. So, you, oh, I'll back down to 35, everybody. Let's, uh, let's not get a speeding ticket in as well as our, uh, as well as our, oh man, did you hear the gears grind there? <laughs> Oops, sorry about that, truck. I'm a bit rusty, it would be fair to say. So yeah, it's been, I've been slowly, I mean, anyone who's upgraded their computer before knows uh, the anguish of having to re reinstall everything. Uh, one advantage is you do get to clean out a whole lot of stuff that builds up over time. Oh, this is spectacular here, everybody. Look at this, beautiful. So I've been able to sort of, um, in one, some ways, clean up my uh, disk drive and only put, um, it's not really a disk drive, SSD, and only put uh, stuff that I really want on there. Because as you know, stuff accumulates over time when you get back in the cab. So that's been an advantage. So I, uh, the other thing is I had ordered a honeycomb yoke. Uh, here we go, I think we're getting out of this national park or whatever it might be. I wonder if they'll sting me on the way out. Oh, they asked me to stop, are they? No. Okay. You do not need to stop there. I thought I'd better just in case. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? I ordered the honeycomb yolk. And it had a delivery date of around about now, actually. Uh, but I just got a message today to say that it's going to be a number of weeks away. And, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, so I've cancelled that order uh, because it's, because then I'm not tied in with that particular company. And if it comes up somewhere else I can um, go ahead and pick it up. But um, it looks like it's a pretty decent yoke. And also with the new throttle quadrant that comes out with it, that's going to be a really good piece of kit. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep going with my... Uh, I've got two at the moment. I've actually got a SciTech yoke, by the way, and uh, but it's just, yeah, it's just not smooth at all, unfortunately. So it's done its time. It's about 10 years old. In fact, it's 12 years old. So it's just done its time. So 
no more uh, I just I think I'm gonna have to retire that piece of kit have a look in here and I've cut in the corner too much no um, but so I'm left with my uh, X52 Pro the SciTech which has definitely been completely fine uh, and my good old Logitech Extreme 3D which I keep talking about but anybody that's watched uh, my flight simulator um, videos you'll see the sensitivity I'm having major issues with I've sort of got to a point now where I just very very slowly pull back on the uh, yoke just to get airborne and it works okay uh, the biggest issue is really on landing where I'm trying to finesse uh, my attitude and um, there we go get a bit of exhaust break in there everybody can't see anything coming we're good um, and so it's not ideal I've got the sensitivity turn sensitivity turned right down um, but it's still a challenge for me so I don't know what the heck's going on there but anyway I'll just have to put up with it in the meantime it is what it is and it's still completely fine I mean as long as I get I mean I found that I can set myself up really well into landing um, so I'm not actually you know got it trimmed perfectly coming in then it's not too much of an issue the main issue is where I just got to come in and flatten out and then um, f where I flare flare out and then have to adjust my attitude by small amounts it can be a bit of an issue oh I love the sound of the exhaust break so anyway this has been a nice little trip so far actually apart from getting fined uh, stalling the truck up on that hill and taking ages to get off and then getting fined Let's have a look out here. Got some roadworks here. There goes a good old K100 right there, everybody. I love this truck. See quite a few of them on the roads, actually, here in New Zealand. Um, I'll see the K200 has taken over. But this one, I love it. I love the grill. Old school grill. Grill. Get over here everybody so yeah American Truck Simulator great game great game oh gee I'm revving the hell out of this that's what happens sometimes we haven't had to use the high uh, range yet oh what am I oh gee sorry oh sorry truck I completely didn't even notice that I hadn't flicked up to the uh, to fifth there I went straight back into first and absolutely ruined my gearbox there you go that's what you get Okay, these roads are growing on me a little bit. They do have a little bit of a repeating texture that I kind of notice. That's being extremely picky, I suppose. But they're kind of cool. So we're almost there, everybody. We've just got uh, 20 nautical, uh, nautical miles. 20 miles left. It's not nautical miles, everybody. It's been a nice little, and a really nice little trip, actually. Although this truck, I don't think it's quite... It's not quite decked out to really easily take the um, to take the um, the heavy haulage sorry I'm just trying to concentrate here everybody and not wreck the gearbox probably too late yeah it's not quite digged out enough to take the um, the heavy haulage comfortably um, but uh, I'll upgrade a little bit like I say my uh, current level is only level 17 which shows how little I've really played the game I've played a little bit, but not, not you know, a decent amount, but not a huge amount. So, uh, now that I've uh, got everything set up and it's nice and easy to rev up the game, I'll definitely be playing it a lot more. Let's indicate now. Use the exhaust brake, because you know. Can. Why did I go into second there, everybody? take a wide view there we do not want our heavy haulage trailer to take out the local farmers fence they will not be happy with us beautiful okay 
I know those like thin lines are still a little bit um, sketchy. It's still a little bit sort of blue, um, sort of shimmery in that. And I remember that they had a fix on that for the uh, when you could go into was it DX9 or DX10? You had to like go back a couple of generations and uh, to actually make those look really, really sharp. So I might have to do a bit of work on my graphics to see if I can fix those. Oh, here's this guy. What's he up to? He's sweeping up. Beautiful. Good on you, mate. Someone's got to do it. Anyway, oh, Mace, what are you doing? Cut it, have I? Let's fix that. Oh, I forgot about low, low. That's one thing, uh, that's a good thing just to uh, remember about right at the end. Low, low. That's what I should have been getting off the mark on, everybody. What an absolute shocker I am. It's all right, everybody. This is the standard that you just got to get used to sometimes. Okay, I got around there this time. We are good. Um, I suppose I should ask him where he wants it. Where should I place it? Here we go. Oh, there we go. That's pretty straightforward. Oh, look at that. You beauty. I forgot about low, low. I'm so gutted. It's so easier off the mark. I am an absolute fool. Okay. We've got that sorted for next time, everybody. I'm an amateur. You just got to put up with it. Come on. You know how it works. Anyway. Come on. Come on. Go green. Okay, what's happening here, everybody? Why is that not going green? Not straight enough, eh? This is cheating to a certain degree, I must admit, but, you know, let's just pretend I've got someone showing me where to go. You do what you've got to do. And you do not want to see the rest of that parking job. It was a disgrace. <laughs> anyway, we got an excellent for it, everybody. We probably didn't deserve it. Uh, what did we end up getting? Fourteen hundred, sorry, fourteen thousand four hundred eleven dollars. But we did get that fine, obviously, in there, um, which means we probably ended up netting somewhere in the region of about thirteen thousand dollars. Short little job. We'll take it. It's all good. Uh, and we have uh, pushed ourselves up just a little bit, almost level 18. So obviously a long way to go in that respect. So anyway, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you do enjoy uh, Truck Simulator and these types of videos, please smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.